Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Cloud Thinking. If you have not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification icon so you get notified anytime I make new videos. For today's video, I want to keep the tutorial series alive, but I want to change it up. So, you know, I, I spend a lot of time creating images and stuff for Pinterest. And I wanted to share with you guys the differences in the Pinterest pins specifically their sizes and show you how to actually make what's considered a long pin which is a pretty popular pin uh, for Pinterest so as you can see from the chart uh, pin type there are four types so you got square you got short you got medium pins and you got long pins okay and of course there's your the pixel breakdown for each of those so 600 by 600 is square 600 by 900 is a short pin medium pins 600 by 1260 and long pins 600 by 1560 all right and i have a diagram over here it kind of shows you the difference in sizes so for today's video i am going to actually make a a large pin right so this is a uh, pretty popular you know a lot of people like to uh, add these because it actually takes up more space and, and it looks really uh, really cool if you put the right images in there so let's go ahead and get started so for today I'm actually going to be using GIMP to show you how to create this long pin all right so what I did is I went ahead and I got my images ready this is the image that we're gonna work with today I went ahead and edited them and got rid of background and, and all of that so that they look pretty good and I'll be able to use like kind of like a a triple setup you know uh, going down the actual long pin itself okay so let's minimize that all right let's go ahead and open up GIMP and if you do not have GIMP go ahead and install it you know it's free and it's pretty easy to work with once you get used to it so all right so GIMP actually started up and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we create a long pin that is 600 by 1560. So to do that, you're in GIMP, you're going to go to File, you're going to go to New. So right here in the width, we're going to type in 600 by 1560 for the height. Okay, hit OK. All right, so as you can see, it created the, the dimensions of the actual uh, image area that we're going to put our pictures. Right here, as you can see, it's white. I don't like seeing the white background, so I'm going to make it transparent. I'm just going to go hide that background. Okay, so first thing we want to do is add our own background. So what I'm going to do is slide this over, and I've already went ahead and place my pictures that I'm going to work with on my desktop just for ease of access and we're going to drag this over we're going to drop it in as you can see it actually placed the picture in there in the dimensions that it was saved as we don't want those so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click it and drag it if you're not used to working with GIMP then this icon right here is actually the scale tool and that's what you'll use to set your dimensions now again, you can drag if you want, uh, or you can actually go up here and you can click in here and change your dimension. So we want 600 by 1560. Go ahead and hit enter at that time. And as you can see, it went ahead and locked that image uh, in the dimensions that I had set. Okay, so let's add our others. Let's do here no evil. Let's drag that here. All right, as you can see, it is now on there. Let's go ahead and relocate it. So right here is gonna be your move tool. So you select that and then we can go and drag it. Okay, leave that in right there. Let's go ahead and do see no evil. So drag that in. And again, our move tool is already selected so we can actually click it and drag it over how we want. Okay, 
And last but not least, speak no evil. So that placed it right on top. And again, our move tool is selected. We're going to say scale it down here. And we're going to actually change the size of these. So, and that is still selected. Let me show you this. So let's maximize that. Now over here is where you choose which actual picture you're working with. So if we want to do here, no evil, let's go ahead and select that. And as you can see, the border is now around that. So it knows, that's how you know that you're actually working with that picture. So let's do the scale tool over here. And then what we're going to do is make this image a little smaller, right? So what we want to do is be able to fit all of them so they look good. Okay. And then you'll hit enter. That scales it. Let's go change our picture selection. And let's now scale the other. Okay. So I think that might be a good size. You know, you want to keep an eye over here to make sure you're making them all the same size. So, what I think I'm going to do is 375 by 450. And hit enter. Okay, 375 by 450. And let's set all of them. Click that. All I'm doing is changing the picture I'm working with. The scale selection is still there. So, it automatically goes to that, that picture. And I can change it here. So, uh, it was 375 by 450 and hit enter and again it scales it all right so let's do the top one it is selected 375 by 450 the middle one's 375 by 450 and the bottom is 375 by 450 okay so now let's just move them around and make them look better. All right, go ahead and make sure that you select your move tool and choose which picture that you want to work with. We're going to stay with here in no evil and let's go ahead and slide it up. Okay. There we go. I think that's there. Go ahead and choose see no evil. And take that and slide it up right and speak no evil and let's move this up some okay so that we know they're all the same size what we can do is we can actually center them in the middle of our our background so the way that you do this is you come over here to your alignment tool you're going to select that and you come over here and you actually drag and select your pictures okay so all three are selected and what we're going to do is choose this option here okay and they should all shift over which they did okay so they're all now center aligned now i don't like the way that this center one is it seems like it's much larger i think it's the way that i cut the actual image out so let's go over here and select see no evil and what I want to do is scale it down some to make it look better so let's grab this make it a little bit smaller you know where it's proportionate so and speak no evil grab that and I feel like it needs to be larger Let's see the dimensions. So that's 375 by 450. Actually, no, we already scaled that one. And then here, no evil. 325 by 428. That's what I thought. So I think just to keep them in proportion, let's go ahead and do 330 by 430. All right, scale that. Okay. And do the same. 330. 530. All right. And 
and last but not least, three zero five four three zero. All right, enter the skelet, and now we want to go ahead and align them again once they're all the same size. So what we'll do is come back over here to our alignment. We're going to select that. And again, we're just going to highlight all of them. Okay. And again, they're all highlighted. And we're going to come over here and we're going to hit this. All right. And it centers all of them. Now, if you want, uh, you can actually just go through and, you know, select just one at a time. Okay, and move it. And it's actually, you may not be able to see it, but it is shifting over. They were already pretty much centered, so didn't really have to align them too much anymore. All right, so let's highlight this one and hit align. And highlight the last one and hit align. Okay, now they're all centered and they all look pretty good. And as you know, the overall picture looks pretty good. Now to save it, what you're going to do is you're going to actually export it. You're going to go to File, you can go to Export As, and you're going to choose your location that you want to save it. I'm going to save it to the desktop up here. Just come up and give it whatever name you want. I'm going to call this one Scale Pick. And again, my destination is there. Hit Export. Okay, now you're going to have another box that pops up. Just go ahead and hit export again. Okay, so what you now have is, let's minimize that. You have your picture currently saved. Now it's time to upload it to Pinterest. Let's go ahead and close that. Okay, go ahead and open up Pinterest. I already have mine up. We're going to scroll down and the little plus sign you're going to go ahead and click that you're going to do upload pin okay and of course this box pops up anybody that's used pinterest i'm sure you've uploaded plenty of pins and you know how to get to this screen so let's drag that over what i'm going to do is go ahead and grab my picture and i'm going to drag it and drop it okay so and it has uploaded that actual image all right i'm going to give it a description and i've already actually created it so i can copy paste so paste it in there all right i don't really have a url link at this time so i'm just going to go ahead and uh, save it as is all right and the image looks really good i'm going to hit done and it's going to ask me where i want to save it and it being halloween I'm gonna go ahead and save it to my board. Okay, and of course you can see it now or close. So what we're gonna do is close that. Let's go ahead and go to my board. And of course it is now uploaded and it looks pretty cool. There you go. Okay, well I hope everyone really enjoyed that. I hope it helps you out if you have not ever uploaded one of the long pins. Then go ahead and try it out. You know, it looks really cool, especially with products. If you want to upload those, if you got shoes or something like that, you can really triple stack them and make it look good. And of course you wouldn't be uploading just a complete back, uh, black background around here. So again, hope you enjoyed. If you did go and give me a thumbs up. And thank you. I'll talk to you later.